फोर बिट वेरिएबल फोर बिट मीन्स टू हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू स्वीटी स्पीक ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज सिस्टम वेरी लॉग रेंडमाइजेशन सीरीज एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट रैंड एंड रेंडसी रैंड एंड रेंडसी आर की वर्ड इन सिस्टम वेरी लॉग विच आर यूज फॉर रेंडमाइजिंग वेरिएबल द वेरिएबल्स विच आर रेंडमाइज आर कॉल्ड एज रेंडम वेरिएबल बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग रैंड एंड रेंडसी Let's understand what are random variables in system Verilog. Random variable is a variable which will get random values whenever you are randomizing. Very simple. Whenever you are calling the randomization method in system Verilog, we have randomize. Randomization is a method to randomize your variable. Whenever you are calling that method. whatever variables get randomized those are called as random variable which are the variables which can be randomized singular variables singular variables means not an array kind of thing but singular variables like there is logic that is a singular variable then we have seen other data types in system verilog if you have not gone through please go through system verilog tutorial series where you will understand what were the different data types in system verilog so all those data types which we discussed can be randomized whatever data types were discussed in your system verilog tutorial series those are the uh, variables which can be randomized then we have certain kind of arrays we had packed arrays we had unpacked arrays we had dynamic arrays we have associative arrays we have queues all those things also can be randomized then we have sizes of array even the array size can be randomized this is a very good thing in system verilog arrays as well as size of the arrays can be randomized then you have objects if you have not already gone through please go through system verilog op series where you will understand about object oriented programming concept those objects which are there in system verilog the handle of those objects can also be randomized how are you going to randomize these variables you need to declare the variables by using the keywords like rand or rand c now let's see what are these keywords the first keyword we talked about is rand rand stands for randomize it is a whatever you are declaring with rand say i said rand and say i said so some data it means i am telling that data needs to be randomized so these are rand whenever you are declaring something with rand these are variables which can be assigned any value within the range and they are assigned value with equal probability let us understand what the sentence means variable assigned any value within the range with equal probability say for example i have declared this data variable which you can see is a 4 bit variable 4 bit means it can take 2 raised to 4 values 2 raised to 4 is 16 which means it can take 16 values the range for those values will be from 0 to 15 now the statement says variable assigned any value within the range it means this variable can take any value within the range what is the range 0 to 15 with equal probability so there are 16 different values which it can take and each value it will take with the probability of 1 divided by 16 whenever you are randomizing at each instant of randomization the probability for any value will be same which is 
one sixteenth. This is what the sentence means. Data will take any value in the range zero to fifteen with equal probability. In this case, the probability is one sixteenth because there are sixteen different values. Now let us understand rand C. Rand C stands for random cyclic. This is also a random value, but cyclic. What do I mean by cyclic? Let's understand this. Values don't repeat until every value in the range is covered. Say, for example, I have sixteen different possibilities. Until all sixteen different possibilities are covered, I will not repeat my values. This is what it means by cyclic. Cover all values, then repeat. Now let's understand this randomly with an example. I have a data which is again four bit, and I am using randomly keyword to declare this data. Since it's randomly, what do we say? Value should not repeat until every value in the range is covered. What is the range? It is sixteen different combinations. It means it will take the value. From zero to fifteen, all the values from zero to fifteen should be covered. Only then your value is going to repeat. This is what rand C means. I hope with this you are now clear what is rand, what is rand C, what is the difference. Main difference is in rand the values can repeat with equal probability. In rand c values won't repeat until every value in the range is covered. This is the main difference. Now let's see a coding example of rand c next. We will see the coding examples using the keyword both rand and rand c so that we understand the differences very clearly. When we run the code, we are going to analyze the output and then we are. Clearly, going to understand this difference. This is the example of rand and rand c. Let's understand the code first. I have a class data in which I have two random variables. One is data one, which is declared with the keyword rand. Second is data two, which is declared with the keyword rand c. Both these are four-bit variables. Now I am going to create an object of class data, and then I am calling the new method so that the memory is allocated to the object of of this class data. You can go through system very log oops tutorial series on this channel to understand more about how this class and object works. For Just understanding the code. This is how we create the object of class data underscore obj is object of class data, and I am calling new so that the memory gets allocated for this object. Now, new is the constructor. We have a lecture on constructor in system very log up series. Now, after doing this. I am repeating twenty one times. What thing I am repeating? I am calling data underscore obj dot randomize. Dot randomize is a method provided by system Verilog to randomize all the random variables. What do you mean by randomize all random variables? We told. If you want to create a random variable in system Verilog, you need to use the keyword either rand or rand c. So in class, whatever variables are using the keyword like rand or rand c, all those variables will be randomized whenever you are calling this function. Whatever is declared as rand c will be randomized cyclically. Whatever is declared as rand will be randomized. as per the standard randomization which means every variable will have equal probability every value of the variable will have equal probability 
after doing this we are just displaying the values now let's run this and we will see the output and we'll analyze the output first thing is that this is four bit variable four bit means it can take 16 different values both these can take 16 different values only difference is the first one is rand second one is rand c so in rand the values can repeat with equal probability even though 16 all 16 values are not covered it can repeat so here if you see 9 e 9 9 value has repeated we have covered just two values till now till this 9 value is repeating why because every value has equal probability when you are calling rand that is why now if you see rand c the value should not repeat until all values are covered so i need to cover 16 different values before repeating any value let us see 16 means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 all till here all the value should be covered without repeating only then it should repeat let's see did any of the value repeat till here no none of the value has repeated and it has covered every value every possible value 0 1 here one is covered then 2 3 then the next value is 4 year 4 is covered then 5 6 is covered year then 7 is covered then 8 is covered then 9 is covered year after 9 since we are displaying in hex it will be a so year a is covered then after a is covered b is covered then c will be covered then d will be covered year and e is covered here so all 15 values are covered only thing is the sequence is randomized here but all the values are covered before repeating any value if you see here the value f is repeated but after completing all the values it has completed all 16 values then it started repeating this is the major difference between rand and rand c with the help of coding we understand it better that's why we always try to have code for every concept i hope these lectures are very easy to understand and um i'll keep on making such video lectures to help you out to stay tuned please subscribe to sweetie speaks official youtube channel thank you